Number Western Michigan is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. From his own goal line, they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. Number 82, Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. Third and long now after the sack. Tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. You can bet the putter's sweating to have to kick this one from his own end zone. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Broncos and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he's flushed and they got him. And down he goes at the six yard line. So they try to fool him with the run, but the defense was all over it. Great job here by the defense to penetrate the offensive line and get to the ball carrier before he got too many yards. And that was excellent punt cover. I agree, Brad. That was very well defended. In win like this, fielding a punt is like trying to catch a knuckleball. And sometimes you just don't know where it's going to come down. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Fires it out. And he's immediately tackled. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 81 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Bowling Green is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Great reaction by the defender. That pass was really launched up into the air, and he had to follow it carefully to close in on the ball and to break up the play. He got hit hard. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but if you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Bowling Green has a three-point lead. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Cut. Down. Blue 14. Cut. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number 11 makes the set to the 50-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 40. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Check, check. Back and a quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. Three down, three down. Mike, ready. Mike, check, check. Regular, regular, regular. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. That makes it second and So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Ready! Green 95! Green 95! Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of seven on the play. First down. Seven's the mic. Let's go! Three, three, three. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's tackled at the three. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Number 24 makes the tackle. It's first down. Chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. Mike seven, Mike seven. Under heavy pressure. 
Gets past the tackler, and he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Big down here. It's third and goal for the two, and they can take the lead. They put everyone up on the line. He's going to run for the end zone, and he doesn't get in. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but... I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. So at the end of one, 3-3 three, three time. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. Five wide. Throws it in a hurry. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That's a loss of about three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second and 14. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Zips it to the back, and they make the stop right around the 40. That'll bring up fourth and one. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. It's a short kick. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down at about the 31. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 31-yard line, first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Ready. 
Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught over the middle. That's a great tackle at midfield. Gaining 12 on the play. First down. Room around the corner. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 36. From the 36 yard line. First down. Brought down at the 34 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Taken down at the 32-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Knocked down, incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Western Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. <laughs> Out of bounds at the 26. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 50-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 50 yard line quick pass and down he goes right around the 34 quick throw incomplete one of his receiver from the 34-yard line, second down. And he's stopped behind the line. One-yard loss for the halfback. Throws it. The defender had it and then dropped it. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Bowling Green is down three and looking to tie it up. 
It has the distance, and it hits the upright and bounces through. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. That tackle could have saved a very big play. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Here we go. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. The Broncos are going to call their second timeout. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Rifles this one out to the left. And that one's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Check, check. That's good for 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. Makes it first and 10. Let's go. Green Knight. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That brings up third and 14. Now he tries to buy some time. And he tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 9-6, Bronco. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house it belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll take it from the two. He got hit hard. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. 
goes out of bounds right around the 26 yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Western Michigan holds a field goal lead. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 34. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Makes it to the 41. Call the game of 16 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Aaron and that long. And he holds in the deep pass. wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 81-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it out to about the 36. He's tackled at the 35. That'll bring up second and 11. from their own 35-yard line. Like Second that. down. Like Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's immediately tackled. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle made at about the 45. Makes it to the 37. That makes it second and two. Tailback brought down for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. And so it's another third down upcoming here. J. 
just throws this one away. the offense had much of a choice here it was a pretty short conversion the defense just made a good play i can't argue the play call the defense just did their job by standing their ground last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for and i'm sure they'd like to replicate that here as long as this quarterback has time to throw then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man and they make the stop at the 49. First and ten. Ball on the 49. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 80's getting the ball here. 80's getting the ball. Here we go. Oh. Fires it out. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. All the gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. From the 35-yard line. First down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Here we go. Green 90. Green 90. Tackle at the 32. That'll make it second and seven. This junior corner's been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Here we go. Throws out to the running back, no good. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Western Michigan lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball in the 23. Brought down at about the 31. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 19-6, Bronco. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. There he goes. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. They knock it down incomplete. 
This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Good tackle there in space. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Seven-yard line. Quick pass intercepted. That's a great tackle at the 20. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. Seven's a Mike. Mike seven. Set. 10 20. Ten, 20. He airs it out. Throws complete. He's got room to work. For the 20. They'll bring him down at the 12. Number one brings him down at the 12 yard line. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From the eight yard line, it's third down. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. The defense has it. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And he's leveled at the 32-yard line. That's just how they drew it up. When I talked to this coach earlier in the week, he thought he could take advantage of zone coverage by attacking the perimeter outside the hashes. That time, it was a corner route, and it got him the first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Right around the 46 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He 
gets to about the 31-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. He gets rid of this one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Go! Lock it in! Go! Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Good go, eight, six, 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 six. That'll make it 35. Tight right, tight right. Go. Alert, alert, it's all right. Cat, cat, cat. Motion, motion, motion. Right, go. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Let's go, They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Russell down behind the line. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. They tried to sneak a little counter play by the defense. They weren't fooled that time. That's a great play to cause the turnover on downs. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punch the ball to change the field position. Just under two to go in the game. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Just throws this one away. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Get the ball with the change of possession on the punt, but time is starting to be a factor. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. Throws and it's incomplete. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and this one falls incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Roger, Roger. Mike 51, Mike 51. Let's go. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it fourth and twelve. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Going for it all to the end zone. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. A little over a minute in the game. And he's tackled at the 39. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Six yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend.
And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 19-6, Western Michigan. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.